Hello, in this problem we're going to evaluate this surface integral. Let's jump right into its solution. So I'm going to start by writing down the formula that we're going to use. So the surface integral of f over s is given by the following formula. This is equal to this integral here over r. So r, by the way, is the projection of s onto the xy plane, OK? So r here, this, is, this integral, rather, is f of x, y, g of x, y, okay, g of x, y. And then here we have a square root. Okay. And it's 1 plus, and then it's the partial of g with respect to x squared plus, it's a scary formula, but it's really not that bad, and the partial of g with respect to y squared dA. Okay, dA. So in all of this, um, z equals g of x, y. That's, that's the equation uh, of the surface, okay. So let's go ahead and use this formula. We might as well compute the partials since we're gonna need them. So the partial of g, or rather z, with respect to x is going to be negative one. And that's because the derivative of four is zero, the derivative of x is negative one. And the partial of z with respect to y that's going to be zero because there's no y there. All right, let's go ahead and write down the original question again. So we have this surface integral. Here it's x minus 2y plus z ds. Okay, and let's go ahead and be really careful here. So we have this integral over r. So here, f of x, y, g of x, y basically means, so this is, this is your f of x, y, z right here. So that's basically saying we're going to take the z and put it here where the z is. So it'll be parentheses x minus 2y plus z, but z is 4 minus x, like that. Okay. Right? That's, that's, so we've done this part here. Again, we just, you just basically take the z and you, you put it where the z is. And then here we have the square root. So it'll be 1 plus, and then we said this partial here is negative 1. So it's negative 1 squared plus, and then this partial here we said was 0. And then we have dA still. The really nice thing about this problem is they already tell us the region R. <laughs> so it makes it really easy. So this is um, this iterated integral now. So we're, let's integrate with respect to y first. So we'll go from 0 to 3, and then x 0 to 4. And then we have this here. It'll be x minus 2y. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, the x's, the x's cancel. So it'll be 4 minus 2y. Save a step there. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get the square root of 2. And we said we're doing y first, so dy dx. All right, so this is equal to, let me switch colors here. So let's go ahead and uh, integrate with respect to y. So we're going from 0 to 4. And now let's integrate this with respect to y. So it'll be 4y. And then integrating the 2y, you add 1 and divide. So it'll be minus 2y squared over 2. So the 2's cancel. So you just get minus y squared. And we're going, put a double brackets here, from y equals 0 to y equals 3. And we still have our dx here on, on the outside. OK, this is equal to, so we plug in the, the 3 first. So, it, oh, I forgot my square root of 2. Ooh, easy to mess up, right? So let's go ahead and pull that out. The square root of 2, integral from 0 to 4. Plugging in the 3, we get um, 4 times 3. Minus plugging in the 3, we get um, 3 squared. 
Then you subtract and plug in zero, so all of that doesn't matter because it's zero. dx. This is equal to the square root of two, integral from zero to four. It'll be 12 minus nine, right? Yeah, 12 minus nine, so it's gonna be three. Three dx. Integrate that, so we get square root of two times three x, right? Because it's just a constant, so when you integrate it, you just get an x. And we're going from zero to four. Almost done, right? Almost done. The next step is to plug in the four. So this is equal to, I'm gonna put the three in the front, three square root of two. Plug in four, subtract, plug in zero. We get four times three is 12. So we get 12 square root of two, and that should be the final answer to this problem. So hopefully um, this has helped someone out there who's trying to learn uh, how to compute surface integrals. Good luck.